Roy. Jonathan Roy. Let me take you on a trip to Amsterdam. Show you magic as it happens. Armed only with a case of newly acquired magic trees. A magic box. And my hypnotorics hypnosis. We're gonna live life in the bus lane. Good night. Life in the bus lane, haha. Uh -huh. Do you do voodoo? Because I do. In fact, we're going to do voodoo <laughs> by the power of magic lucky juju. Uh, we'll like you to take them, give them a shuffle. Just so that I don't know what order they're in. That's brilliant. By shuffling them, you place them in a totally random order. Okay? I'm going to take one card out of there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take... Well, the power of voodoo and lucky juju is telling me to take that, so I'm going to place that there. What happens to one thing in voodoo tends to happen to the other. So take the cards, okay? Deal some cards from the top of the deck up to my hand. One. One at a time, yeah. It's up to you how many, but say between 10 and 15, whatever you feel. When you want, you can stop. Okay, we can get rid of the rest now. Voodoo. Let's see if it's worked. I'm going to give you those cards that you've taken. Yeah. I'll put both my hands out. Take the top card, place it on that hand. This? Yeah? This. No, face down. Yeah. All right. Now the next one here, All right. then here, here, yeah, here, here, here. Because voodoo is always about two things. What happens to one happens to the other. Turn over the top card there. Turn that one over if you would face up. The top, no, no, the oh, top, the top card. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the same here. Yeah. Okay. That's the number. So it's an ace. That represents the suit. So that's ace of clubs. So by random, you've got the ace number and club, so that makes the ace of clubs. I put a card down before, by the power of uh, lucky juju. Let's have a look, see what it is. You pick it up so people know I'm not doing anything funny. Ace of clubs, will you keep on? <laughs> the ace of clubs. You do, do, do. We do. Life is the lane. <laughs> yeah, life in the bus lane indeed. Yeah. Cooking on gas, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Excuse me, do you speak uh, English? Yeah. You do, that's yeah. brilliant. I've just written something down now. You didn't see me write it, but um, we're filming a TV show. Uh, to be honest, I'm looking for my sister. I'm over here looking for my sister. Uh, she's Britain's only female stage hypnotist um, called Mesmer Audi. You've not seen her advertised anywhere, have you? So I've been here like days and I just can't find her. Doesn't matter anyway, what I've done is I've wrote down on here uh, better not let you see it, otherwise it looks like a have influenced you. I've wrote down two numbers. Yeah. Okay. Two, a two-digit number. Yeah. I want you to try and pick up on the two-digit oh. number. I'm going to transmit it to you. So make your mind blank. Yeah. I'm transmitting the first digit to you, okay? You should have got it. What number have you got? A two. <laughs> You've got a two. Yeah. We're going to do the second number now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Should have it. What number have you got? Three. Three. Yeah. We've never met before, have we? It's very important that we haven't yeah. met. We've never met before. We've never met. Two and three. Seriously, you're not you've not seen anything in the paper about Mesmer and performing around it. Still, never mind. Well, I'm not too happy about that. I wish you had, but anyway, the point is that what I did get was the number 23. I'll give you that as a souvenir. Nobody will believe you when you say you met a guy on the street who'd written that down before he met you. Uh, but do me a favour when you're talking to your friends, if you see uh, my sister Mesmeralda advertise, could you ask them to log on to the internet? and visit hypnotorious.com or just stick in my name Jonathan Royal and send me an email and let me know where she is because that's why I'm here really looking for her.
worry, I've left the diet plugger. She turned out to be a man posing as a woman just to have his way. Used to get me all excited and then slip it in that he was a man and then he would be back and forth all night. I'm now having my two lips parted by a tulip separator. Yours, Esmeralda. A tulip separator? Life in the bush lane. Freezing. 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 Freezing.
That one. Just start off here, so. Take it off? Or? No, no, you can leave it. You can leave it. Just have a look. Now, if you look, the shape of yours, it's hard to see your own belly button unless you look in a mirror. Mm -hmm. So obviously, because if you lean down, you make it a different shape, don't you? You yeah. need to be stood up for this. But you've got a, a very oval shape, and that oval is pointing up towards your head, which is signifying that. And this is not meant to sound offensive, but it kind of says to me that you're very headstrong. Yeah. Once your mind's made up, you won't change it for anybody, will you? You're very much your own person. Yeah. And sometimes, even when you once you've made a decision, even when you later realise it's the wrong decision, you won't admit it. You'll cut your nose off to spite your face, <laughs> won't you? Because you're like, oh no, I'm not going to admit I was wrong. Well, sometimes I'm like that, yeah. Yeah, so you're not even yeah. admitting it now, that's how it's <laughs> you are. See? Fine. That illustrates that one. Um, actually, you've got quite a few dents in there as well. Some on the left, some on the right. That kind of kind of signifies off to the right, off to the left, and they're both about the same size, so I think you, you probably find it very difficult to concentrate on uh, things for huge amounts of time. I think you've got a very creative mind, you're always thinking yeah. of new things, yeah. wanting to do new things, yeah. For you! I said you, look, listen, learn. See these cards? Look at them. See them. Remember one now. Look closely. Listen. Just get one in your mind, okay? See it clearly, as clearly as you can. Okay, you got one? Yeah, and your girlfriend as well. Okay. Remember clearly that card. Okay, remember it clearly. Think of it, because something strange happens. Could I've come into your living room through your TV screen and you'll notice one card and one card only has turned blank. Look at the screen. You see. Your card, the only one that's gone. Uh, have fun in bed tonight. Remember, I can see what you're doing. Saskia, don't worry, I'm not going to steal what you want. No, not yet, anywhere. <laughs> Just keep your eye on it, it might right. go somewhere. Uh, could, what are you, right or left handed? Right. Right, right handed, right -handed. okay. Well, you, well, you, uh, yeah, use your right hand. I'm going to place them on there. Okay. I'm going to ask you in a moment, keep hold of your wrist, you'll see why. I'm going to keep your hand nice and steady. Okay. Are you uh, scared of the dark? No. Are you scared of lifts? No. No. So you say you're a pretty brave person. Uh, okay, brave, not for anyway. <laughs> no, so yeah, obviously you wouldn't like it if I got a knife out. No, that no. wouldn't, no, no, no. Okay, I promise you, I won't do that, but what I am going to do, look at me, take these, watch. You don't scare easily, do you? Mm -hmm. Four blank cards which contain everybody's fears and imaginations. Because everyone's scared of something in life. And one thing that a lot of people are sometimes scared of is uh, spiders. <laughs> That leaves us with three blank. Wow. Now some people are scared of spiders really, really badly. But all the time the mind's occupied with it, so then we end up with one, two, three, four webs. But obviously if you get spider webs in the house, you go and clean them, don't you? Uh -huh. So you don't, you're scared of spiders. No, oh, well I yeah I do clean them. Yeah. You do clean uh -huh. them. You see when you clean them, then you find that suddenly you can come web. to my house and clean them. <laughs> it's not really fair to do that, is it? So we need to bring the spider back. So you just wave your hand over. Just wave your hand over. Oh, it's alright. Just wave, wave it over the uh, gas. Like... That's <laughs> great. And, uh, believe it. Can I keep that one? <laughs> can I keep that one? Life is a new bus lane. Sleep! Eyes remaining closed at all times. Nice deep breath in and sleep. Eyes remaining closed at all times. 
Nice deep breath in. Sleep, eyes remaining closed. Sleep, eyes remaining closed. Sleep, eyes remaining closed. Going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Eyes remaining closed at all times unless I say otherwise. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. You're in bed with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or what, uh, or an animal. I don't know what your particular sexual persuasion is. But you notice now that it's 7 a.m. The window's open and it's freezing cold. It's bloody freezing cold. Getting colder and colder and colder. You're starting to shiver from head to toe. You've got to warm yourself up, rub your body because you're getting colder and colder and colder. With each second that passes by, getting colder and colder and colder. You're getting colder. I remember close, but you're getting colder and colder. You're starting to shiver. Getting colder and colder and colder. In fact, you'd like nothing more than to snuggle up to the person next to you. That's right, you just want to snuggle up to the person next to you. Eyes remain closed, you're going deeper. To snuggle up to the person next to you, because you're freezing cold. You're bloody freezing cold, you just want to snuggle up, shiver up to the person next to you. Eyes remain closed, going deeper. And sleep in that position. Sleep, 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 sleep. Eyes remain closed. Put your hand out. I'm going to okay. use uh, if you like, human table, because we don't have any table drill. Can I what I've got is, uh, uh, that's a that. prediction, okay? Yeah. And I've got some cards. They've got all different phobias on, like things that you're scared of. So agoraphobia is like fear of the great outdoors, that's why the card's blank. Can you guess what that one is? Scotophobia. Fear of the dark, hence it's a uh, black card. Postrophobia, in full spaces, and uh, ironically, Hippopotamus trust that can't even say it. That's the fear of long words, would you believe it? Long words, seriously, the fear of long words. What I want you to do. Okay, I'm just gonna take these and give them a give them a bit of a mix and what have you. Like so. Just, yeah. I'd like you to just cut the cards wherever you want. Just you know take one. Yeah, lift lift them. Um, well as few or as many as you want, but just cut them. Uh, should I take this one? Well, what I want you to do is just, you know, cut them like if you were shuffled the cards kind of thing. Yeah? Brilliant. Okay. okay. Place them there. And then, X marks the spot. In here is the prediction. So you managed to pick one phobia. So let's see what it is. You need to pick... What's that? Ligra phobia, yeah? Yeah. That was the fear of... Mm -hmm. What was it? Fear of loud noises, yeah? <laughs> let's see if my prediction was right. Take out the prediction. You chose the fear of loud noises. You had a free choice. But just take out the prediction. <laughs> Life in the Vaseline. Uh -huh. At the very moment I say now, then and only then, you will be nine months pregnant, giving birth to a baby, and it's up to you, because uh, obviously you're the one giving birth. As to whether you keep your eyes closed or open, but you're going to have to get that baby out yourself, because uh, I'm only a trainee midwife. Okay, what? You can feel that baby starting to arrive. Two, the baby's almost there. And on three, you're nine months pregnant, you're giving birth to a baby. You can feel the pain. That baby's coming. Go on, go on, go on. Get that baby out. You can feel the pain. You can feel the pain. Go on, let those screams out. You can feel the pain now. You can feel the pain. I'm only talking to you if I touch on the shoulder, but you can feel that pain. <laughs> Getting worse and worse and worse. With each and every second that passes by, you can feel that pain. In fact, so badly now. Do you want a boy or a girl? Both. You want both? Oh, you want twins? Okay. That's funny. It's going to get 50 times more painful for you. Hell, and more, more painful. Put your hands on the baby's head. It's coming out now, guys. Put your hands on the baby's head. Grab all of the head. Down there. Grab all of the head. Baby's head. Grab all of the head. Down there. Grab all of the head. You've got to grab all of it. I can't do it for you. I'm only a trainee. Go on, grab all of his head. Get all of his head nice and tightly. That's it. before have we? Well, I made a prediction, okay? One single word in the English dictionary. You any idea what I might have written here? Dog. Dog. So you basically got no idea. Yeah, no? No, not at all. No? no. Exactly, that's what I wrote down, no. You don't look impressed. No, <laughs> not at all. It's funny you said dog look, because I did draw a picture of a dog. Okay. Bad one, but it's quite, uh, no, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, we'll try something more impressive. I've got another prediction here, seriously, okay? Yeah. Of something you bought in the supermarket. It's an imaginary supermarket, but when you go in this supermarket now yeah. in your mind's eye, what is it you bought? What I buy? 
Yeah, buy anything you want. What is it? Uh, I made a prediction. Like it's milk. Milk? Yeah. And amazingly, wouldn't you be amazed if I predicted you'd say milk? Yeah, I would. Well, in fact, I have because look, that's a barcode for uh, milk. I'll tell you what, pick a card. Name any card in a deck of cards. Any oh, I really card. don't play cards. Um, cards of five? Five of hearts? Yeah. Amaz wouldn't you be amazed if I predicted that? Yeah, I would. Well, look at that, I have. It's um, <laughs> just, just there, the five of... Okay. You're really not impressed, <laughs> not are you? Not at all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David Copperfield walked through the Great Wall of China. He made the Statue of Liberty disappear. Today, for your enjoyment and entertainment, a miracle of disappearance using this pint of lager <laughs> and this very nice smelling brandy. <laughs> Watch and be amazed as they disappear. Sometimes magic takes a bit of time. <laughs> Remember, David Copperfield <laughs> uses curtains, okay? You don't see what's going on. <laughs> Screen train, you show me the double pull. <laughs> Much smaller curtains required than me. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jonathan. Life in the bus lane.
Roy. Jonathan Roy. Let me take you on a trip to Amsterdam. Show you magic as it happens. Armed only with a case of newly acquired magic tricks. A magic box. And my hypnotorious hypnosis. We're gonna live life in the bus lane. Good night. Life in the bus lane, ha ha. Hi, what is your name? I'm Ian. Nice to meet you. I'm Jonathan and... Adessa. Nice to meet you. You live here, I think, eh? No. no. Where do you live? Tourist. Israel. Israel? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Well, while you're here, whatever you do, can I just pull it out? Sure. There's a table. Could you use a table? There's people on street corners. Have you ever seen the uh, three card trick where they uh, swindle you out of money? Uh, yeah. Well, I was in America the other week and there was a guy on the street who came up to me and uh, he said, look, I've got a blue diamond, uh, I've got another blue diamond, and I've got a red diamond. And the idea of the game was to follow the red diamond. And he just placed it underneath and I bet a dollar. I said, for one dollar? It's on the bottom. He said, wrong. That's the dollar you owe me. I said, in that case, it must be on top. He said, wrong. That's two dollars you owe me. I said, in that case, it's got to be in the middle. It's not on the top or bottom. And uh, it wasn't. That was three dollars. I said, go on then, let's have another go. He said, I'll find the uh, blue one for you. I said, it's on the bottom. He said, wrong, that's red. I said, OK, the blue one's on top. He said, wrong, that's red. Said, in that case, it must be in the middle. He said, wrong, that's red. By this time, I've lost $6 as I've caught you out here. I bet you've got more than three cards. He said, no, two, three. That was $7 I've lost. That's why I say never gamble with these guys. But then uh, he nearly caught me out. He said, do you want to bet double a quid? I said, go on then. He said, well, if that's a red diamond, and that's a blue diamond. What's the last one? What do you reckon it is? Red or blue? Blue. You reckon blue? Well, I was a little bit sneaker. I thought that perhaps he had special cards. You know, half red, half blue. And that's how he caught me out. So I bet double of quits and seven dollars on it being half red and half blue. And he said wrong. That's fourteen dollars that you uh, owe me. I can't believe it. It worked. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try a few. Uh, imagination experiments because I don't like to call it hypnosis because when all said and done it's all about the human mind and imagination. But for now each and every person just stare at the white bright light, stare at the white light, nice deep breath in, only talking to you if I touch on the shoulder, nice deep breath in and sleep, 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 deeper, 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 you will not fall off the chair, nice deep breath in and sleep. You will not fall off the chair, eyes remaining closed. You will not fall off the chair, eyes remaining closed. Nice deep breath in and just sleep. Relax, you will not fall off the chair. So each and every one of you, eyes remaining closed at all times unless I say otherwise. But now you need to allow me access to your subconscious mind. In a few moments time when I awaken you, you're going to find, sir, that each and every member of the opposite sex in this audience, when I give you a very special pair of glasses, when you put them on and look through them, you're going to find every member of the opposite sex appears to be completely stark or look naked. In other words, in the nude with no clothes on. You'll find it very strange, but you'll also find it very pleasurable. <laughs> when I awaken you in a few moments' time, darling, you'll realise when I give you a very special pair of glasses that whenever you look at any of the men here in the audience this evening, they all appear to have absolutely no clothing on whatsoever. If you're so impressed by the glasses, you'll actually probably want to buy them. And when I look at you in a few moments' time, whenever I give you the very special pair of glasses and you look through them, you'll realise that all the men and all the women look ridiculous indeed when you've got the glasses on. They've got tall giraffes necks, big elephant's ears, stupid noses, and uh, you don't know what all the fuss is about, why everyone else is going uh, particularly happy about these glasses. Okay, yeah. nod your heads if you understand. That's superb. And wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. I've just got something very special for you. First two <laughs> pairs arrived in uh, England. That's where I brought them over from. You'll we'll be getting these over here in Amsterdam very soon indeed. They may look a little bit ridiculous, but I tell you what, I certainly enjoy wearing them uh, at a very reasonable price. You tend to get your head kicked in more when you're walking pub walking like this. Well, I need to rule test them. I'm thinking about putting these on sale, sir, so if you'd like to uh, try them on, pull around, tell me what you think. I'd like to try them on, have a little look round, tell me what you think. 
Thanks <laughs> for uh, attention, my darling, to the men. I'd pay particular attention to the women if I was you. Or whatever turns you on. <laughs> Tell you what, let's um <laughs> stand up. Come in. Well that's a boy. Sleep. When you wake up you'll still see all the men of the opposite sex in the nude, but I forgot to mention the hypnotist is the only one with anything of any decent size. One, two, three, wakey, wakey, rise and shine. <laughs> And if you just like to, uh, <laughs> if you just like to stand up and have a little look round, we've got a few gentlemen here this evening. Marks out of ten for presentation. Um, maybe three. <laughs> three. Sorry about that, sir. Um, got a nice, very smart gentleman there. Marks out of ten. I'll give it a five, maybe even. A five? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's try. Um, marks out of ten. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's close to ten, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Life in the bus lane. Spoons and forks and keys and things like that. Watch this, you'll see something really strange happen. The metal gets softy. Maybe. There. <laughs> Can I touch it? I'll tell you what, put your hand down. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Examine it now. There. Oh, 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 Maybe there is a stone. Maybe it has stone behind it, so you can move it, and then it's move again. You have them here. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, you're on a sunny Spanish beach. Eyes remaining closed at all times because you're sunbathing. You're enjoying that lovely off heat. If you want, you can sit back in your chairs. Enjoy your sun lounges, that's it, eyes remaining closed, but just sit back in your chairs and enjoy your sun lounges. Enjoy that lovely heat, it's 70 degrees. It's lovely, it's beautiful, it's that summer holiday you've been waiting for. But unfortunately, it's going to get hotter and hotter. And as I say it gets hotter, you're going to realise that you want some invisible suntan lotion. The very moment I give it to you, you'll have to start rubbing it into your body very quickly because the hotter it gets, the quicker you've got to rub it in. It's getting 80 degrees now, getting hotter and hotter and hotter. It's starting to get almost uncomfortably hot. 90, 100, 120 degrees. It's getting blistering hot now. It's feeling so, so, so uncomfortable. 150 degrees, 160, 180. There's nothing you'd like more than some invisible suntan lotion. You get so uncomfortably hot unless you're used to those uh, temperatures. 200 degrees. There's some invisible suntan lotion for you to start rubbing it into your body. Some invisible suntan lotion for you. <laughs> For you, you will keep your clothing on. And um, it's getting hotter and hotter the hotter it gets, the quicker you have to rub that suntan lotion in. It's getting 300 degrees, hotter and hotter and hotter the hotter it gets, the more you've got to rub it in. I'd remain close until I say otherwise, we're getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Sir, your bollocks are burning, the blistering in the sun. Well, your are in the sun, getting hotter and hotter and hotter and sleep, 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 sleep. But I'm going to give you a chance to win 100 guilders, so that's about 30 quid, fair yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. You've got to give me two chances to find your car. We're going to make it as difficult as I can, so just say stop. Stop. You sure you want there, yeah? Now, I, you could have stopped there at five of clubs, you didn't. So just take the car, have a look at it. I'm going to turn away, 
just while you have a look at that. Have you done that, yeah? Yeah. That's yep. super. Whenever you want, just put it back into the deck. With one hand only, I'm only going to touch it with one hand. Wouldn't it be good if I found your car? Definitely, yeah. 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 Actually, the answer <laughs> you want is no, because if I get it wrong twice, you win. Don't oh, yeah. get oh, it. Well, oh, yeah. I don't want you to get it. I don't want you to get it. You can't count for this. Good if you can. <laughs> Indeed, right, uh, let's see. Okay. Hopefully now it's travelled to the top. Was that your car? No. No. Seriously? Seriously. What, all right, what car did you pick? We're going to make it easy. Eight of clubs. Eight of clubs. Well, I've got a feeling that this might not actually work, so I'll get ready to pay you. Uh, do you accept credit cards? Yeah. American <laughs> Express? Good. Never leave home without it. Uh, it's signed, it's in date. Will you pick the uh, eight of clubs, yeah? Yeah. Put your hands out. Because you're going to have to get ready to cash here, but what? Second chance, second chance only. The, uh, Eight of clubs. That's good. That's good. Thank you very That's much good. indeed for your That's time. Cool. I really okay. appreciate okay. it. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Cheers. Hey guys and girls, it's me again. You had a good week? So we mess with your cutlery, let's mess with your watches. Look at the screen now! Now I see. Look at the screen now. Watch. Watch the spoon. Because as the spoon starts to bend, some of your watches, watches stop. stop. Oh yeah. Notice your wristwatch on your wrist, it's broken. Just remember, I'm with you all the time. <laughs> all the time. No, 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 no. I know oh, it is. what you do. Sleep in peace. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the uh, coin three times with the cigarette, okay? On the count of three, your coin is visibly, magically going to disappear. So keep your eye on my hand on the coin, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Well, actually, the cigarette's gone. <laughs> at least at your angle it is, because what happens is it just ends up being in the ear there. To get rid of the coin, if we put the cigarette through the hand like that, give a little wipe, when you do then the coin disappears. That leaves us uh, just with the cigarette. Do you smoke much, sir? Yeah, right. Well, smoking gets right up my nose, it really is. For that angle, so that they can see over there, that's what it looked like to him. Uh, I suppose you want your coin and your cigarette back, do you? We can have the cigarette, that's covered in snow. As for the coin, that was mine, but if we uh, just take the coin, yeah? By all means, you can have it. There. And... <coughs> there, sir.
A canal fella? In a few seconds time, I'm going to place into your right hand, into your right hand I'm going to place an invisible or real, as the case may be, ice cream. It will taste, look, smell, smell even, and feel like your favourite flavour of ice cream. And it's going to cool you down so quickly because you're no longer uncomfortable, although your eyes remain closed at all times unless I say otherwise. Favourite flavour of ice cream for you there, sit back in your chair. Favourite flavour of ice cream, start sucking and licking it as quickly as you can because it's your favourite ice cream or your favourite lolly. I remain in clothes, that's your favourite flavour of ice cream or lolly. I remain in clothes, but that's your favourite flavour of ice cream or lolly. I remain in clothes, start sucking and licking your ice cream as quickly as you can, that's your favourite flavour of ice cream or lolly. It's getting hot, so you just want to... You just want to eat your ice cream as quickly as you can. Okay, just running down the side there, sleep on the window. If I touch you on the shoulder, sleep, <laughs> sleep, deeper, and sleep. Relax, stuck in that position, stuck in that position. When I awaken the gentleman I'm now touching in a few moments' time, you'll realise that that object, that ice cream, is stuck in your mouth and your hand is stuck round it. You cannot remove it until I say, life in the bus lane. The very moment I say, life in the bus lane, you will remove that from your mouth and you'll know what the hell's been going on. Stupid, stupid words you learn at school. French lessons, German lessons. What is it all about, the teacher? Uh, Parlez-vous anglais? Which means, do you speak English? If they speak English, you don't need to waste time learning that phrase in your French lessons, do you? Mm. Do you? Do you speak English? Yes, we are. You do? English, We're yeah. just filming a TV show. Can oh, I just are you? Yeah, can I just try something with you? Do you mind being on TV? Not at all. Are you going to be shy? <laughs> yeah, you're being shy. Are you That's like... us all? <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Um, what I have here, a beer mat, elastic band, and we do have in here as well a pencil, okay? I just want you to quickly check, would you say that that looks like an authentic beer mat from Manchester in England? Yes, well, Except I'm for the. To Manchester. Do you wear a veil? Stoke on Trent. Alright, yeah. The pottery. Oh, it's nice up there, yeah. No, they've just been voted the worst place to live, and it isn't, not at all. Oh, I liked it in centre of stuff. I went, <laughs> briefly, I went, I'd done some shows at Stoke University. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, there you go, it is the worst place in Britain, isn't it? No, exactly, yeah. that's what I was saying! <laughs> what are you like? Right, look, pencil, pencil beer, beer mat, mat, elastic band. What I'm going to do through. is put that in the middle. Yeah. OK, I'm going to hold on to both ends like right. that. The idea is for you to try to take the uh, elastic, elastic band, band off, off without ripping the beer mat, without breaking the elastic band, without snapping the pencil, and without me moving my hands. So just have a go and see if you can... Uh... Difficult, yeah? Other than going all the way up and round, no, quite that won't work. No, right. Yeah, no. Difficult, right? Take the pencil. We need yeah. to put it back, obviously, as it was as before. It was, and you're going to show me you how agree? To That's as it yes. was before, yeah? Correct. Two bits there, yeah? Yeah. One bit, two bits there. Right. Pencil through the middle. Yeah. Hold on to the bottom, hold on to the top. Okay? Nice right. and tight, just like that. Okay. Watch. <laughs> we have the elastic band, as you can see, you've got the beer mat right there on the pencil. It's well done. somebody's stolen your willy, but you'll realise you've got a very sore bum. You wonder what the hell's been going on 
probably think it's the hypnotist, but you will not hit the hypnotist and you will not become violent. But you will want your willy back. One, two, three, wakey, wakey, rise and shine. So at this point, I like to come and join the people who volunteer to take part in my shows. <laughs> you okay, sir? Just sit down. No. <laughs> Look, sir, we're trying to do a show, okay? You can just sit down properly. What's up? <laughs> uh, right, okay, what well, you get up there, uh, that's your own business, sir. Um, <laughs> what is? You bought, you are? Bung. Sleep, 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 sleep. When you wake up in a few moments' time, not only uh, do you find that the more the hypnotist ignores you, the more within your mind you fall madly passionately and deeply in love with him, but you'll find the very moment he asks you your name and starts a conversation with you, that you'll do anything you can without removing any article of clothing, or indeed removing anybody else's clothing, to prove that you're 100% woman. But Are you going to do your show now? You want to be hypnotised? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Okay. Apparently all I have to do is hypnotise you if you're a really responsive subject. Is click my fingers three times, according to this book I read, said in this book that if you want to pick up women and make them like you more, all you have to do is click your fingers three times and the more you click your fingers, the more that something falls badly, passionately, deeply in love with you. Uh, let's see uh, how well that works. Oh my god. Three. We're going back to half an hour, I've just clicked my fingers a lot. Well, you don't mind way, it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, probably find it is highly hilarious to think that there's a team of people here on this boat who spent the last week <laughs> filming me and spending a lot of money and at the end of it they see me full tricks up so they're probably finding it very amusing that somebody started <laughs> to actually pay money to put this on TV but I'm certain at least I hope I hope guys and girls out there I hope that whatever's got on, magic, fucking hypnosis, whatever, I really hope that whether you thought it was good or bad, that you've enjoyed yourself. Because if you've enjoyed yourself, that's all I want. I want you to enjoy yourself. And back. Right, how does this one work? Got the instructions somewhere. Okay. Um. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that looks 
looks good. And then, no, fuck it, no. Um, set. Yeah, sweet. Sweet. Um, Ah! 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 Ah!